Obama. And my colleague Bill Hemmer is live with him now. Bill? Hey, Megan, thank you. Back down here on the floor with David. You cannot be a popular guy in this room. Uh, probably not. No, I, I would imagine not. Why did you write the book? Um, I wrote the case against Barack Obama precisely uh, because I felt that there was no middle ground between the people who were smearing him with uh, the innuendo from the internet and people who were worshipping him practically, both in the media but especially his followers in the general public. I thought someone needed to look at his real record and that was that was the way I tried to handle it. In well, what, is your, what is your case against the senator from Illinois? Senator Obama uh, says that he is a a reformer, an agent of positive change. Uh, and, and looking at his record, though, in Chicago, Springfield, and Washington, I found that he is absolutely, there's nothing in his record to bear out that claim. That, in fact, the idea that he's a reformer is, is a great lie. That uh, when liberals and conservatives in Chicago came together to clean up that town, he worked against them. And you see the same thing in, in much of the legislative work he's done in Washington. He endorses the machine candidates in Chicago. He endorses the corrupt systemic arrangements, the special interest arrangements in Washington, and he resists people from both parties who come together to try to fix them. Uh, I want to give you a chance to make your case. Yes. But a lot of people just say you're trying to swift vote Barack Obama, uh, just like some efforts were made against John Kerry in 2004. Sure. Um, look, we nothing in my case against Barack Obama depends on someone's memory of something that happened 30 years ago in, in Vietnam. Um, all of this is very clear. The facts are all there. The legislation he was involved in to help Tony Rezco is there. The candidates he's endorsed in Chicago, who are the, the, the perpetrators of corruption, are there. It's all clear. It's all in the record. Well, on the Rezco matter, this yeah. has been investigated and looked at and reported to death. Now, Tony Rezco is a convicted felon, and they've looked at the relationship with Barack Obama, and it might smell, but they have not found anything illegal with that. Well, it's not a question of whether it's illegal. We're talking here about whether people use government for their own advantage. Again, Obama claims to be a reformer. He's so Someone who doesn't do that, in fact, who tries to make government cleaner. That's not true. When you look at his relationship with Rezco, he, he co-sponsored and voted for numerous pieces of legislation that would make Rezco very wealthy, it, that would give special subsidies to his businesses, that he even wrote letters to get $14 million for one of Rezco's projects. So that, that's the kind of corrupt systemic and arrangement. that's the kind of material you find and you explore in your book. Yes. I, I gave you a chance to make your case. People can make up their own minds and go and buy the book if they want, or they can annoy it entirely. Tony Resco will be sentenced in the fall. That's David, right. thank you for your time. Thank you. Back to Megan now on the platform.